Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made the Helium song instrumental, but also how we recorded the vocals and how we mixed the vocals and how we ended up with a finished song and a finished music video, pretty much. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. As you can see right here, this is my project file, um, Simon Helium New V1. First of all, I'm going to show you this project right here and yeah, how we got to the finished version. So let's do this. All right, okay, so as you can see, everything green at the top right here is instrument okay so it's like drums melody and everything green so the green that the, the bright green onwards and everything down is the vocals okay so here you see simon's verse this is my verse this is the outro and then the bright green is the vocals so i'll take you guys through the instrumental first and then i'll take you guys through everything else i.e the vocals the chorus and how we actually got the helium sounding effect okay so let's start with the intro okay and as you guys can hear right now the intro starts with a piano and some other sounds, okay? Now let me show you what those sounds are, okay? So... Alright, okay, so the intro starts off with this piano melody right here. So I guess, I guess you could say that's the main melody in the entire song. That's always playing throughout those same notes. And for this, I used Omnisphere. I use Omnisphere a lot. It's one of the best uh, software plugin databases you can find. It's a pretty much a collection of samples. And the sample I use is Frozen, Frozen Piano Dreams. I don't think I did anything different in here. Maybe I changed the attack and the release a little bit. But other than that, I think I just kept it, uh, kept it the same. Added a bit of EQ, added a bit of compression. So without the EQ and compression, it sounds like this. With it. So as you can see, I took some of the uh, I took some of the low end out just to give that nice uh, nice high frequencies a chance to shine. And I guess the, the compression is just to kind of like bring everything up and uh, just flatten it out a little bit. So we have the piano melody right there. We also have the road on their own. They sound like this. And that's just a very simple like chord progression. Just to like preface this, I made this beat a long time ago. I made this entire song a long time ago. So we made this song in the house, by the way. We, well, we started making it at the house, at Simon's house, the, the Sidemen house. And this was originally like a hook concept I had called More In It. And I just made it like no helium, just a, just a normal voice thing. Me and Simon did a video on my channel, uh, freestyling with helium. Um, I'll play a clip of it right now. And after that video, we were like, you know what? Let's actually turn this into an actual track. Let's take this concept of freestyling on helium and actually make a song out of that. Uh, and at the time when Simon was saying like, if we've got any beats or instrumentals for this, I was like, you know what? I've got a hook that I wrote that I don't think I'm gonna use. We could just use that. So as you can hear, this is that demo. I ended up just taking that and going, <laughs> just using that for the Helium song. Obviously, we did obviously then use Helium. So yeah, this is a, this is like a misconception. Like people think that we actually pitched our voice up. We didn't pitch our voices up. I'll show you that in a minute at the second half of this video. Let's go back to the instrumental real quick. So as you can see, we have the Rhodes instrument and we have the melody, the slow piano. Again, the Rhodes is just from Omnisphere, an amazing bank of sound. So I definitely recommend that uh, Omnisphere for you guys out there. And the reverse, the reverse piano is what. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's the intro, and that pretty much makes up the entire song. Like if you see the rest of the track here, this just plays throughout. You know? But there are other sounds here as well. For example, you have this um this sound right here. There we go. Yeah, that's the like the weird synth sound you hear in the track. And that again is to accompany the slow melody. You hear it? Wow. Wow. That just gives it again an extra layer and pretty much it just gives it some separation from the intro to the actual chorus itself, you know? So there you can hear that the instrument on its own and the crushed keys just gives it an extra, an extra level, you know? 
Yo, you know what's crazy? Like I said to you guys, I made this beat so long ago that even, even I've forgotten what I did for this instrumental. Like, I'm coming back to this now, like, damn, I'm pretty sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty good. But now, nah, pretty much what it is, is that recently I've been using a lot, of, a lot of loops to make my beats. Like, I'll just go on Splice, load up a loop, a pre-made loop, and just uh, vibe off that, make my track off that. Because I just find it, I find it quicker to get to an end result of, an, of like a chorus or an idea. I can always come back in later and remove that loop, etc. But making the melody, it's a slow, slower process, in my opinion. And I can't vibe as much because I get frustrated doing that. That's why I choose to use loops. But uh, this entire song here was just self-produced by me. Uh, came up with the melody myself, etc. And then when you play all these together, you get something like this. Which like, is this really cool vibe, right? And then... Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. And then when we put all of those different layers together, guys, you get the chorus melody. So that's that. And then you see this part here where it says fast melody. Obviously, this melody here ends and a new one starts. And you might be thinking, what is that? It's the exact same instrument. It's the exact same sound, but the melody is just a lot faster. So you can hear it right now. Switch up. So there you can see then, again, it just gives it like a level of separation. It just keeps the, the track interesting. Instead of being the same loop all the way through, it slows it down a little bit. It drops some other melodies out and it just allows you to keep it moving and just keep it interesting for the listener. And it also allows like Simon or myself to end up changing our flow depending on the, 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 the style of the beat, you know? Because if, if it was the same flow the entire way through and it was the same section, it'd be super boring, you know? So it's nice to split things up. So that's literally all of the instrumentation, the, the entirety of it. Uh, and then next up, you have the drums. So I'll show you the drums on their own and then I'll show you them with the rest of the uh, melodies attached to it as well. Again, a super, super simple pattern, man. What I often like to do as well, I often like to double up the snare and the kick. So for example, you can hear here. You can hear the, the, the kick drum and the snare play on the same note. Yeah, it's not, it's not common that you have the snare and the kick drum on the same section, but I like to do that. I mean, this is all simple, guys. I mean, but I guess it's simple for me, but maybe not simple for someone out there trying to learn and just trying to trying to get better, okay? So again, just a simple hi-hat pattern, but with a, with a few hi-hat rolls in there. Super simple, what else have we got? Just some more rolls, like on their own, sound a bit boring. But when you have them with the original hi-hat pattern, Then we have another, I think this is the open hi-hat. There we go. When you put it all together. And then obviously you have sections where certain like certain aspects or certain instruments like the kick or the snare drop out and then you have parts where they come back in again. You don't always want the same thing playing the entire way through. You need like things to stop. You need things to get taken out. Here you can see I've got a snare pitched down. Uh, not pitch down, sorry. I've uh, put a filter on there. I've put high cut filter or a low pass filter. Pretty much take away all of the high frequencies, so you get a, like a nice. Well, you just get a, you get a lower frequency sound. Legit, like like what, what what is this in total? One like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So like eleven layers, pretty much. Eleven layers. And the way you just stop and start them and change them, you can just get a final product like we have here. So it is easy, really. Like it just, it just, there's a lot, of, I don't know. Sometimes when you're making beats and making music, it just gels together, but sometimes it doesn't, okay? And I guess this this track right here or this beat that I was making at this particular time, just all, all the different pieces just fell together, you know? And that's what making music is. Like if you expect every song you work on or every beat you work on to work, then you know, that you've already failed at that point because you're setting the expectations too high. From that point, you realize, okay, I've got a bit of a banger on my hands here. What else can I do with it? What else can I do? And what, you know, what vocals can I add? You know, what, what vocal melodies can I write to this? And then you, you go from there. Let me show you the 808s real quick. I'm not sure if I did show you the 808s. It's super simple though, again, just let me look at this. It's just... I'm pretty sure that, that just repeats the entire track. <laughs> And yeah, there we go, guys. There we have the instrumental side of things. Sorry if I like brushed past this, but it really is that simple. The hard part is then adding the vocals and also deciding what parts will go where, like the, the arrangement of the beat. And that's, that's a big important, that's, that's a massively important part of like song making as well, the arrangement. All right, and let's get onto the juicy part, okay? I know you guys are really interested to see how we did the vocals, okay? I saw a lot of people have been uh, confused on so far. 
I've seen certain people say, oh, can you release the lower pitch version? And it's like, no, the whole song is called Helium Song. You know, we used Helium to get the vocal effect. We didn't pitch this up. We didn't use any like software. So first of all, let me show you the hook. I'll play it soloed first and foremost without any of the instruments behind it. Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. Her body's like a city and I'm touring it. Oh, that was the hook. And um, yeah, I'll show you without all the effects as well. So without absolutely any effects, this is how it sounds. Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. Her body's like a city and I'm touring it. So obviously, as you can see, there's no pitch correction. There's nothing added to that absolutely whatsoever. So that is me with some helium. Uh, obviously, we did use auto-tune in this song. I know a lot of people are clowning there that we used auto-tune, but um, you know, auto-tune for me is a is a tool, it's an instrument. This song is a parody song, by the way, a comedy song. I think a lot of people think we're trying to be serious with this one. Well, obviously not. I think that was missed on a lot of people. It was literally a comedy song. You know, actually, let me let me let me turn on the, the EQ, the compression, everything else. Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. So there you go, now the auto-tune added. Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. And then here right now, I'm gonna show you the wide, the wide part. So I always, in a lot of my songs, slow motion, etc., especially auto-tune type tracks, I always do like an added uh, added layer on the hooks to just beef it up. And I spread it wide, okay? So left and right in the, in the headphones just to give it some kind of like studio width or stereo width. So I'll play the main vocal on its own and I'll add the, the wide vocal in it as we go. Let me turn it down and you'll see how much more of a... Fill up my cup until it's got a little more in it. So this is on its own. Her body's like a city and I'm touring it. You know, so it just, it just goes uh, you know much wider and it just sounds more full and more rich. I guess. Okay, now onto Simon's verse. Let's go. Let's play Simon's verse on its own with all the effects. Woke up this morning feeling so high. Balloons everywhere and I don't know why. Head spinning, I'm no longer in my zone. I'm looking like the weekend. I'll be rapping for the low life. And again, let me take the auto tune off and everything else off, and you'll see that his voice is just on helium, man. Woke up this morning feeling so high. Balloons everywhere and I don't know why. And then we just add the EQ. I can show you the way I EQ stuff as well. I take the low end out. I mean, this is this is messy, but it works. And yeah, compression, everything else, noise gate and that. Auto-tune. It's like, we, we didn't need to add auto-tune to this track, but we wanted to, because it sounded cool, you know? And then auto-tune. Woke up this morning feeling so high. Balloons everywhere and I don't know why. It's not really helping with the pitch, like, to fix it. It's just making it sound interesting, you know? So yeah, and then obviously Simon's verse, you got the ad-libs. Woke up this morning feeling so high. so high Balloons everywhere and I don't know why I'm using the name Randy as well right now For those who are wondering like why I'm using the name Randy It's literally so I can have some separation between songs like this Like more parody slash comedy songs With my main stuff what I'm doing with Randolph, okay? So for example, say if I'm, I don't know, speaking to a brand Or I'm speaking to a label or something like that Obviously working with Simon or working, yeah, working with someone who's a lot bigger than I am In terms of, I guess, numbers and that It means the song's gonna do well, okay? So this song right here is gonna do very well on Spotify Spotify, on, on YouTube or whatever, and on Spotify, if this song does do really well and gets into my like top five on my profile, say I'm at a label or I'm at a meeting with Spotify or someone trying to get on a playlist, they go and check out my profile and then they see like Helium song in the top five, play that, and it's like high pitch, it's like a weird comedy track, they might have the wrong impression of me as an artist with my other music, okay? So it's not like I'm disappointed, it's not like I'm not proud of the song that I'm doing with Simon, of course I'm proud of it, I'm really happy with it, but it's just to try and give like a bit of separation in those type of situations where someone's first impression is a, you know, a less serious song than my main stuff. Uh, so yeah, here's the low part, here's the high part. Yeah, I'll play you this without any effects again. William got me out of this world, been chatting to your missus. I get bitches, I'm your new dad for Christmas, you're a sickness, we in this. And then obviously guys, with all the effects as well added on, you get the end result. Fill up my cup until hey. it's got a little more in it. Her body's like a city and I'm touring it. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, so guys, Olivia in my chat right now says, this is for the video as well, I'm glad that you're doing this song, cause not gonna lie, it took me a second to figure out who was who on the track. So yeah, the first verse is Simon, the second verse is me, and the outro, a lot of people were coming at me for saying this Harry line. Way that I'm ignoring this, hey. hey my voice is as high as Harry probably is right now. <laughs> That's Simon, okay? Simon is saying that. That's some people coming at me. I was like, I, I didn't say that. I said the next part. Ah, That's me. It's me. That's me. Hey, don't try this at home. That's Simon. But this is me again. And also, one thing I was going to say as well is... 
the way Simon and I wrote these verses is a lot different than the way I would usually do it, you know? So say for the album, The New Age, with me and JJ, obviously JJ would write his verse, I would write my verse. For this track here, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, Simon and I just sat down together and we kind of wrote the whole thing together. So aside from the chorus, like I said earlier, we had the I had the chorus already for a different song, just brought that in here, put, put helium on and it sounded sick. For example, a lot of the stuff in my verse, I may not have said without Simon sat there next to me. And I guess same thing with him, you know? So it's kind of like we both wrote it together and I think that definitely benefited the song. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to show you guys. Like, I'm not sure, like I kind of, you know, as I've now recorded this video and showed you guys, I'm kind of thinking, have I showed you guys enough? Like, was that in depth enough? And I guess I could like go more in depth with like which individual samples I used, but I have to keep some things private. You know what I'm saying? I have to keep some things that like, I can't give you guys everything, you know, then you guys will just copy it. You have to just like see my process, you know? But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more things like this in the future. I'm definitely down to do more things like this in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like on the video, uh, comment down below, let me know your favorite line from this song okay let me know what your favorite line is from the entire song whether it's on my verse or whether it's on simon's verse it doesn't matter just let us know and yeah subscribe to the channel for more videos like this this video by the way was recorded on my twitch so right now i'm live to a bunch of people we've got a bunch of people in the chat chatting away uh, and <laughs> looking at me do youtube outros but yeah come check out my twitch twitch.tv slash randolph uk if you want to see more uh like if you want to see behind the scenes of videos like this i'm making a lot of music on stream as well so i'm showing my entire process of making my new mixtape that i'm dropping soon Soon. I'm showing you guys how I make each and in every track from that tape. So yeah, check out my Twitch as well. And yo, shout out you guys for watching this video. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. My name is Randolph and peace. <laughs>